ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test today here on K-Check! Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion with another season of Teaching and Learning here on K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Alamin natin kung kaya nila ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season. Samahan nyo kami until the final week of competition which will reveal our newest K-Check champion. Ang apat nating daily winners ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una, makakasama natin si Versil. Versil is a second year student taking up BS Physics in UP Diliman who plans to take on astrophysics as a career. He is an illustration artist and learns programming as a hobby. Up next, Stella is a senior economics student at UP Diliman. Her hobbies include watching movies, doing graphic design and art, and traveling. Next, we have Kirby. Kirby is a business administration student majoring in human resource management from the Rizal Technological University. His hobbies are watching movies, cycling, playing online games, and playing basketball. And finally, we have Miguel. Miguel is a third-year BS Social Work student from UP Diliman. His hobbies are watching movies and series. One of his favorite series of all time is Modern Family. Also, he loves walking around the academic oval during his free time. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Professor Glessie Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters of UP Diliman. Next up, Professor Ricky Nellas of the Institute of Chemistry, also from UP Diliman. And last but not least, Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, narito na ang first round, which is also your first opportunity to earn points. Buzz in, but wait till you're acknowledged before you answer para di sayang ang effort. Let's begin! Question number one. What is the name of a construction toy consisting of interlocking plastic building blocks that was first... Versil. Lego. Let me proceed with the question. That was first produced in Denmark in 1949. You said Lego. That's correct. K-check. Question number two. How many years are there in 104 weeks? Versil. Two years. Two years is correct. Hey, check. Question number three. What term refers to a person who holds an undergraduate degree from college or a man that is not married? Brazil. Bachelor. Bachelor is correct. Hey, check. Question number four. Apple D. App is a Filipino rapper who is a member of the singing group that recorded the hit, Where's the Love? Miguel. Black Eyed Peas. Black Eyed Peas is correct. Hey, check. Question number five. In what ocean can you see Japan, Hawaii, and New Zealand? Stella. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What is the title of the TV drama series that featured friends Eds, Rovic, Badong, and Corinne, among others? The correct answer is Tabing Ilog. Hindi nyo pa naabutan ng tabing ilog. <laughs> Question number seven. What basic arithmetic operation involves an answer called a quotient? Tela. Division. Division is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. What is the name of the migratory grasshopper that often travels in vast swarms and strips the land past of all vegetation? Brazil. Locust. Let me proceed, especially in Africa. You said locust. That is correct. K-check. Question number nine. What is the name of the main character played by Val Kilmer in the 1998 DreamWorks animated film, The Prince of Egypt? The correct answer is Moses. Okay, question number 10. Mental math. 
What is twice the product of 21 and 5? Stella. 210. 210 or 210 is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. In music, what do you call the rendering of a single melodic line by several performers simultaneously? Versel. Harmony. Harmony is wrong. Anyone can steal? The correct answer is unison. And last question for this round, number 12. What term that gets its name from the Greek word for wanderer is a relatively large celestial body that is in orbit around the sun? Brazil. Planet. Planet is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. And after round one, we have Versil with 50 points in the lead, followed by Stella with 30, Miguel with 10, and Kirby with zero points. So maraming salamat. We're midway in the competition at susunod na ang round two sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. Welcome back to K-Check. Scores recap muna tayo. Brazil is leading with 50 points, followed by Stella with 30 points, Miguel with 10 points, and Kirby, hahabol ka pa dapat sa mga susunod na rounds. And now it's time for round two contestants. Remember, there is a twist in this round. As always, way to be acknowledged before answering para hindi sayang ang effort. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. The VMAs is an award show presented by MTV to honor the best in the music video medium. What does VMA stand for? Stella. Video Music Awards. Video Music Awards is the correct answer. K-check. Question number two. What breed of small, short-legged dogs with a broad, flat face in a profuse, long, soft coat is so-called after the former name of the capital of China. Yes, Miguel. Shih Tzu. The answer is wrong. Anybody want to steal? After Peking, this small breed of dog is the Pekingese. Question number three, what city in Brazil is the largest in population in South America? Stella. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. The answer is incorrect. Sao Paulo is the correct answer. Question number four, one of the best selling K-pop artists of all time, which boy band recorded the single uh, Kirby. Uh, BTS. The answer is incorrect. Which boy band recorded the single Make a Wish, which made it to the Billboard 200? The correct answer is NCT. Does that sound familiar? Question number five. What role did Ralph Fiennes play in the Harry Potter series of films? Versil. Voldemort. Voldemort or Lord Voldemort is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six. What do you call a tall, four-sided, freestanding pillar just like the Washington Monument? Versil. Obelisk. Obelisk is the correct answer. K-check. Question number seven. What figure of speech involves the imitation of a sound made by something... Stella. Onomatopoeia. Imitation of a sound made by something like bang, crunch, or oink. Onomatopoeia is the correct answer. K-check. Question number eight. Started in 1943 in Sweden, it is now the world's largest furniture retailer. 
Miguel. IKEA. IKEA is correct. It is the company whose name comes from the first letters of the founder's initials and birthplace. K check. Question number nine, also called a thumb piano. What is the name of the African musical instrument that has a wooden soundboard and metal keys? Miguel. Kalimba. Kalimba is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In what city in Spain can you find the Sagrada Familia Church, which is still unfinished to this day? Pumahabol si Miguel. Yes, Miguel. Barcelona. Barcelona is the correct answer. K check. Pumahabol talaga si Miguel. Question number 11. Once known as the fastest woman in Asia, which fleet-footed Filipina has won seven gold medals in the sprints at the Southeast Asian Games? Lydia de Vega is the correct answer. Question number 12. Beating U.S. President Joe Biden, Pope Francis, and activist Greta Thunberg, among others, who was voted as Person of the Year for 2023 by Time Magazine? Kirby? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for round two. All right, points recap muna tayo. Versil is leading with 90 points. Si Stella at si Miguel naman tied sila with 60 points each. At si Kirby naman ay may 10 points. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next here on K-Check. Welcome back everyone. Points recap tayo ulit. Brazil is leading with 90 points. Si Stella at si Miguel ay tied with 60 points each. At si Kirby naman ay may 10 points. The race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our weekly winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each. At my 15 point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Good. This is really exciting as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go, Prof. Glessy. Yes. O, oh, ito. Philippine literature. Ano ang pamagat ng pinakasikat na tula ni Andres Bonifacio na nagbibigay diin sa pagmamahal sa inang bayan? Letter A, Katipunan. Letter B, pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa. Letter C, pag-ibig sa kapwa. Letter D, kapwa ko mahal ko. And letter E, bayan ko. Stella. Uh, B, pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa. The answer is letter B, pag-ibig sa tinubuang lupa. K-check. Prof. Ricky, it better be a good question kasi Versil and Stella are now tied. Okay, at 90 points try. each. If a car travels at a speed of 60 miles per hour, how many miles will it travel in three hours? Brazil, 180 miles. The distance is equal to speed times time, so 60 times 3 is 180 miles. Okay, check. Roflu, let's go. In world history, the ancient Mayan civilization existed in which modern-day country? Letter A, Mexico. Brazil. Mexico. Mali. Stella. Peru. Mali. Anyone can steal between Kirby or Miguel? Let me continue. Uh, the choices are A, Mexico, B, Peru, C, Chile, D, Guatemala, E, Ecuador. Kirby or Miguel can only answer. The Maya civilization, which existed from 250 to 1697 CE, 
uh, is a Mesoamerican civilization known for its ancient temples. The Maya script is the most sophisticated and highly developed writing uh, in pre-Columbian America and it occupies the whole area of present-day Guatemala. The correct answer is D, Guatemala. Back to you, Prof. Lessie. Okay, next question. Who is the editor of the 19th century newspaper El Renacimiento, which had anti-American essays like the Aves de Rapina? Letter A, Fidel Castro. Letter B, Fidel Reyes. Letter C, Amado V. Hernandez. And letter D, Marcelo H. Del Pilar. And letter E, Antonio Luna. Answer is letter B, Fidel Reyes. Prof. Ricky. Okay, chemistry naman tayo. What law describes the relationship between the pressure and volume of a gas assuming constant temperature? Brazil. Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that at constant temperature, the pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional. Okay, check. Prof. Lou. Philippine geography. What is the capital of the Nagat Islands? Letter A, Loreto. Letter B, San Jose. Letter C, Dinagat. Letter D, Basilisa. Letter E, Tubahon. Dinagat Islands is an island province in the Caraga region of the Philippines, San Jose. Is the fourth class municipality and the capital of the Nagat Islands. The correct answer is B, San Jose. Thank you very much, Professor Lu. Prof. Blessing. Okay. What is the former name of Rojas Boulevard? Letter A, Dante Speak. Letter B, Dewey Boulevard. Letter C, Commonwealth Avenue. Letter D, Liwasang Bonifacio. And letter E, Luneta. Miguel. B. Dewey Boulevard. Okay, the correct answer is letter B. Dewey Boulevard. K. Check. Prof. Ricky. What is the term for the process of combining small monomer units to form a larger and more complex polymer chain? Brazil. Polymerization. Polymerization is the process of combining monomer units to form the highly complex polymer chain. Okay, check. Prof. Lu. In Philippine history, he founded the Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas or PKP on November 7, 1930. A. Jose Maria Sison. B. Luis Taruk. C. Crisanto Evangelista. D. Pedro Abad Santos, E. Jesus Lava. Brazil, A. Mali. Anyone can steal? Crisanto Evangelista was a Filipino communist politician and a labor leader of the first half of the century. He is credited as one of the founders of the Partido Comunista ng Pilipinas. The correct answer is C. Crisanto Evangelista. So we now enter the last round of questions for the ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go, Prof. Klesi. Okay. What is the Tagalog term used for dimples? Letter A, tulay. Letter B, balun-balunan. Letter C, piloy. Letter D, taloy. And letter E, ukit-ukit. Miguel, C. Biloy. The correct answer is letter C. Biloy. K. Check. Okay, for biology, within ecosystems, what role do the composers play in recycling, recycling nutrients? Stella. Uh, scavengers. Male. A. Producers. B. Consumers. C. Detritivores. D. Herbivores. E. Carnivores. Brazil. C. 
C. Detrit divorce like fungi and bacteria break down dead organic matter returning nutrients to the soil and ecosystems. K. Check. And the last question, Prof. In world, his, in world history, who was the world's first woman prime minister? Letter A, Indira Gandhi of India. Letter B, Sirimavo Bandaranaike of Sri Lanka. Letter C, Corazon Aquino of the Philippines. Letter D, Golda Meir of Israel. Letter E, Margaret Thatcher of the UK. She was the a Sri Lankan politician and was the first female Prime Minister when she became the Prime Minister of Sri Lanka in 1960. The correct answer is letter B, Sirimavo Bandaranaike. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Versil, our K-Check Weekly winner, Later. with a final score of 180 points. We will see Versil again in the semifinals when he competes with our other weekly winners. We'd like to thank also our other contestants, Stella, Kirby, and Miguel. Palakpakan natin sila. Good job. Thank you job. for joining us. Diba? And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Ricky, and Professor Lu. Once again, I'm Jules Gia. And ako naman po ay si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again on Monday for another round here on K-Check. K -Check.